Hi everyone, I'm Rutanya Alda and I'm here at the Galleria Plaza Hotel in San Francisco with Ryan <laughs> who's ventured here to do this interview with me and thank you so much. Start by talking about your career and some of the things that you've done before. Yes. So tell me all about this. Well, my early work was uh, with Brian De Palma who was um, uh, starting out at the time himself and Robert De Niro and so we did the early greetings and high mom movies which were very uh, greetings actually won the silver bear at the Berlin Film Festival and and uh, high mom was very kind of controversial there's a big I'm in the scene called the B black baby sequence it's a 20 minute sequence and Life magazine wrote this up because at that time it was very avant-garde and very kind of startling and then, so that my career started there with Brian, and um, and it went. Um, seems, seems one of the highlights. <laughs> well, the big highlight, of course, is the Academy Award-winning film *The Deer Hunter*, which I co-starred in with Robbie also. And then *Mommy Dearest*, which has become a, a huge cult movie. I play Carol Ann, um, and uh, I made a movie called. Uh, Amityville too, <laughs> of course. And uh, Racing with the Moon, where I played Sean Penn's mother. A Vigilante, which is a huge 80s movie with Robert Forster and myself. And uh, uh, anyway, some of them, some of the highlights of how about When a Stranger Calls? When a Stranger Calls, yeah. yes, it was yes. wonderful, yes. It was Fred Walton's, I think, first big movie. And then Girls' Night Out, which is, I have that scene with, I play the twin killers. Uh, and with, uh, I had that big scene with Hal Holbrook, which is actually a really nice scene. And uh, The Dark Half that George Romero directed, Timothy Hutton and I had the scene where I play his agent and he murders me brutally, but it was really interesting because George Romero said that that was the only, he kept cutting that scene down. He said, I'm cutting it down, I'm cutting it down. And I said, well, why? He said, because it's the only scene I've ever done that really scares me. And that was like a real surprise. He said, George Romero, being scared. But it was, it was, and Timothy Hutton, the next day he hugged me afterwards and he said, you know, I feel closer to you than I do anybody else in this movie. And at first I was kind of, taken back but then I really understood because when you go to these emotional kind of depths you really do feel bonded and and being because we had to do that the whole day and it was such a torturous scene we, we really did I feel I felt this, actually I felt the same way with him I felt really close to him so it was nice that he verbalized it because it made me think yes that's true she were telling me before I turned the camera on about how you actually got called in for the part. Well, uh, there was this wonderful casting director called Ricardo Bertoni. He was just terrific. He's dead now, bless him. But he had seen me in a play on 42nd Street where I played an uh, Italian mother, actually, of a young teenager. And, uh, and then he saw me in Mommy Dearest. And I thought, and then he had me in for to meet Mr. De Laurentiis. In for because everybody met him before you auditioned for him because he had to like approve whether you whether I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. I didn't know if that was true or not. Yes, it was true. And there were some people sitting there that were in major Broadway shows doing the same thing. So we went into this room and there was quite a long room and there was a big desk and uh, Mr. De Laurentiis sat behind the desk um, and when you walk in, I could feel like he was already evaluating you, whether you were. So I just went in, I sat down, and, and Ricardo speaks with him in Italian, and, and do you know Delores answers in Italian, and blah, 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 And I thought, oh, God, if I had only taken Italian in school instead of Latin. I was going to ask you if you knew what you were saying. If I, yeah, 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 clueless, clueless what they were saying. So, and, and, and. So this whole conversation takes place in Italian. And then uh, Mr. Dolentis, who speaks English very well, said, oh, thank you very much. And Ricardo walks me back to the uh, outer office. And he said, thank you, Ritania. And then the next day, or shortly after that, I get a call. We'd like you to screen test for this part. And, uh, and that was kind of interesting because People don't screen test anymore, and it was kind of nice to be, have that opportunity. So I went in to screen test, and, um, and the scene went really well. It's one of those 
prayer things where you think, oh my God, if, and, and you think, oh, thank you, it went well. And I was happy, and then I went out to um, get some coffee, and then I get this phone call. You've got to come back right now because the sound didn't work. So that's, that was exactly my reaction. I went, oh, you know, I don't know if I could, you know, you don't know if you can what hit it they, again. What did they have you do? What, what was it the was scene? a scene, it wasn't in the, it wasn't in the script. They had me do a scene where I'm finding yeah, out that something horrible has uh, happened so to my children. Like okay, okay, like an it was improv like an improv thing, thing. Okay. although it was, it was scripted, okay. but they sort of made, it, it wasn't in the movie, just which is interesting, sample, just, just a sample to see. Right, right. And so I went back and, um, and, I, and I, so I immediately shot it again. It right, wasn't right. quite as good as the first one, mm -hmm. but it was, it was good. Right. And then, okay. uh, then well, what, a week later, they, they, they booked me. They said, we'd like you to play the mother. I think they were putting all the people together. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was really nice to, you know, to get that part. That was awesome. Yeah. For me personally, I think it was more out of the psychological violence and the abuse that this, that these, this family got killed.